Did you know that the Native Americans knew the Bible before the arrival of the Christian Europeans? Well, that may be an exaggeration, but it's true that there's lots of evidence that stories similar to biblical narratives were present in Native American cultures since ancient times. For example, check out this creation myth from the Yamaka people. It begins with the great chief over the waters, followed by him fashioning the mountains and plants, followed by the creation of man from the earth, followed by the creation of the woman, followed by the human family's fall into wickedness, ending in the destruction of the majority of mankind. In this story, God destroys the wicked world with a flood and sets up a rainbow as a sign that he will not do so again. In this Chickasaw creation myth, you even get a bird leaving the ark and returning with a plant. I could spend literally hours providing more examples of the parallels. Now the question is, how do we explain them? It makes the most sense that both the earliest chapters of Genesis and these creation myths stem from a single oral source. The Bible provides a possible answer, as according to Genesis, the entire human race descends from a single man and his family who would have spread a common oral tradition. 